Lulok chapter 258 Merge, Invent, New Weapon With an extraordinary tying shot, the battlefield is shaken. Isagi Yoichi, the egoist name, resounds around the world. As the announcer says, Goal! What a super shot! Unbelievable! Isagi Yoichi, an incredible mid-air direct shot, bringing back Bastard Munich. With Karasu saying, what was that? A mid-air shot switching from his left to his right. Tokimitsu says he's a monster. Raiji says he did it. And Nanase says, again, he's evolving. Shiro says, that's an amazing explosion, Isagi Yoichi. And Kunigami says, I won't pass you anymore, egoist who relies on others. As Isagi says, yeah, let's fight again, fair and square junkie. Yori says, what the hell is that shot? Aren't you the best? Isagi responds, no, your pass was also sick. And Hiyori says, that's obvious, idiot. How far did you calculate? My pass to Kunigami's assist? Even that shot. As Isagi says, yeah, I just trusted your pass. For Kunigami, I deduced it from his current thoughts. He's up and down the field with Shido so he's more likely to show up in a pinch or at the right moment. So I was the only one who trusted him more than anyone else to beat Shido in front of goal. Hiyori says, I see, it's a chain of trust in the value of relationships that could only be done by Isagi and that led to the special two-stage shot. As Isagi says, no, that's not it. The shot was completely unplanned. Hiyori is confused. He continues and says, I thought I could score if I broke away, but I didn't expect Ren and Kaiser to come at that same time. So it came out spontaneously. The biggest hint for that kick was probably Nagi's juggling shot, the one during the fight against England. Isagi says, yes, probably I had that image stuck in my mind. That's why I could improvise and make it come out naturally when I was caught in between and my shooting options were dead. Hiyori says, so that was a combination of Nagi's idea and Isagi's two-footed direct shot. Isagi says, well, I just stole it on my own, but it's a new weapon that definitely wouldn't have come from my ideas alone in a quick mid-air shot with both left and right, the two-gun volley. Hiyori says, two-gun, huh? Wait a minute, isn't this technique awesome? And Isagi is confused, what does he mean? Hiyori says, because you can dodge and shoot even if the shot blocker comes from either left or right with a mid-air fake to shift the timing. And it's hard for the goalkeeper to read the moment you shoot. And if you increase its reproducibility, it's invincible. Isagi says, that's true. I might have invented an incredible technique. Noah says, nice goal Isagi. It's time for a player to change for Bastion Munich. Grimm stepped down to solidify the tactics centered around Isagi, which have started to function completely. Grimm, you're out. And enter. Corona Ranze. Corona says, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Isagi says, Grimm is being substituted. Now the tactics centered around Kaiser are just Ness and Kaiser. This is great. The current goal has completely changed the team's power dynamics. Noah is expecting my goal and with Corona, it'll be easier for me to play. Corona says the second point, go for it, go for it, as Isagi monologues. With the next point, I can completely settle the score with Kaiser. Then Bastard Munich will become my team. And if I score one more point, three personal goals, hat trick. I'll surpass Ren and become the number one in the Neo Egoist League. I can do it. I can win. The images won't stop. In fact, I can see it. The world's best waiting ahead. Let me do this quickly. To be continued in the next chapter. The impossible challenge. I do really wonder how many guns will be the limit for Isagi to pull out. As unrealistic as it might be. I can definitely see him upgrading this technique and making it more unpredictable, similar to Nagi's 5-shot revolver fake volley. 
Rona has also been substituted in for Grimm, which is interesting but kind of expected. He hasn't really been doing much this game. But this means it's looking like a blue lock takeover with Isagi at the helm. Bastard Munich is slowly becoming Isagi's team. As Kaiser's pieces are being taken away one by one, the Emperor might actually lose his throne. It's not a good sight. Isagi is just him. But I'll go more in depth on the analysis in the chapter video. So stay on the lookout for that one. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.